Well, this uh, my topic um, come was inspired by a comment from yesterday. Again, I was going to try to remember who it was. I apologize. But somebody in that comment, they asked what to do with Jared Goff at the end of the season or something to that uh, nature, not verbatim, right? So, of course, you know, I had alluded, we're going to get rid of him. I even, in other episodes, I even said, like, if if possible, you know, we could keep him around. We definitely got to do something with him. I don't think he's, you know, proven anything to show that he could be our starting quarterback going forward if we want to win anything significant, right? So, currently, we hold the 8th and 11th draft pick. Maybe we draft a quarterback. I know a lot of people are on that train. We might not be in the um, in the best position to get one of the, you know, higher touted ones. We still may be in a play for somebody like um, um, Hendon Hooker or Will Levis or one of those kind of quarterbacks. And I'm not really sure. You know, I, I prefer Hendon Hooker, but I'm not. You know, you start to get into the quarterbacks where you better be right about them, you know. So, but – not to say, you know, Jared Goff isn't necessarily having the worst season. You know, he's like top 10 and uh, I think he's number actually number 10 in yards, um, number eight in touchdowns, something like that. You know, he's a uh, top 10 in QBR and all that. Or, uh, yeah, or not QBR, but what's the, the uh, rating? Yeah, quarterback rating, not QBR. But, um, passer you know, rating, yeah, passer rating. Mm-hmm. So he's not having the worst season, but he ain't having, a you know, a good enough season. Even, even with three wins and stuff like that, he's shown some – some, uh, you know, some real big flashes, but also in those big flashes, turn it over, you know, threw the ball to other teams, scoring touchdowns for them as well. So um, one of the things I would like to enter into the uh, ethos, that, oh, that's one thing, because Coach Mike, you said, we don't start looking at the draft halfway through the season. I started looking at the draft as soon as college football starts. As soon as I see what we need, like, you know, as soon as in the, in the preseason, like, yeah, we need a defensive tackle. I'm looking and I'm listening at who who's the who's the who's the better defensive lineman defensive tackle this season. But one thing that I, one thing that I want to enter out there, um, I think I said this too before before too is uh, maybe look at signing a backup quarterback, maybe somebody like Tyler Huntley from the Baltimore Ravens. So we won't necessarily have to spend a draft pick. He's shown he actually can play in the NFL. We won't have to pay him as much, and we might could keep him and Jared Goff on the roster if need be. And then we can go out and draft, you know, use those draft picks to beef up in other areas. We definitely need defensive linemen. We definitely need a, 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 a missile linebacker, you know, a guy that can hit, you know, just a, a lockdown middle linebacker that can control the middle of that field. We definitely need a cornerback. So we and, – and there's a lot of – or there are some good prospects at those positions in this year's draft. So I'm just offering another – I offered uh, – however many weeks ago I talked about maybe drafting Henry Hooker this time. I'm just offering another alternative and maybe signing a free agent quarterback around to, you know, get y'all's friend out of here or just remove him as our starting quarterback. <laughs> All right, man. Here's my take on it. If the Lions continue to trend upwards and win games, the team may keep golf around through the 2023 season. Why you say that, Kurt? Well, the salary cap is going up next year, and golf's tw- uh, $30 million contract will be a discount. Why do you say that? Most of the top-tier the, those guys in the top 10 of all those passing categories you named off uh, LL are getting $50 million a year. That's the average of the top tier quarterbacks. The top, those guys that you listed that probably right there in those uh, statistical categories with Jared Goff are getting around $50 million. So that's a discount. Do we pay? want to pay Goff 50 or we want to pay Goff 30? I'd rather pay Goff 30 and then we can draft the quarterback. <laughs> we, can, we can draft the quarterback and have him sit for a year. Same thing happened with Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers. They all sat for some time before getting the starting nod. Now, this also can backfire in Detroit. Why? Because when he has a bad game, because he, we all know he's not perfect, the fan base is going to be calling for the rookie to start if we draft a rookie. Put him in. Put him in. That's what you're going to hear all over Ford Field if Jagoff has a bad game. So it's kind of like damned if you do, damned if you don't type of deal. I don't see the – just because of Brad Holmes and what he thinks about Jared Goff, he's going to play at least one more season in Detroit. At least one more. Fire Brad Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, Coach? Man. What you got, Coach Jones? You know what? I'm so I'm so up in the air with this, but the, the sensible thing cap-wise is to let Jared Goff go when it's $5 million and then – Sign a veteran backup like like a like 
not saying Marcus Mariota, but like Marcus Mariota. And then you draft a rookie quarterback, um, you know, but if but that that just depends on how the season plays out. Um, we're only halfway through the season. Um, Jared Goff has shown up and down, and if he can level out, right? Because every quarterback has up and downs. If he can level out and show just consistent play, like last game is is a good game. Like you know what, you can have games where you don't ball out and just lead FedEx air yard leader. You can have games where you pass for 200 plus yards and a touchdown, but you don't throw no interception. You know what I'm saying? And you complete like 70% of your passes. You know, that right there um, is what we need more of. So if, if golf can prove that, then you know what? We don't have to go and spend, uh, you know, a high draft pick. We can we can draft a quarterback in the third round. You know, because we you know we got first two two first two seconds two third. We can go get one in the third round or so. You know, so I'm up in the air with it right now, man. I can't call it because probably next week after golf throw four interceptions, I'm like get his ass up out of here. So I, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. So you know it, it it is what it is, man. We'll we'll all know at the end of the season. Yeah, because you look at it the. Next year, if we cut them next year, uh, pre June uh, first cut, it'll be a ten million dollar cap hit with twenty million dollars worth of savings. If we do it before the June first cap, uh, the June first in twenty twenty four, we'll we'll would we'll have five million dollars of dead cap and save twenty six million. Okay, so that's why I'm looking at where I'm trying to say like he's going to be here at least one more year. I'm just, right. just well, that's what I'm thinking. He's going to be here at least one more year. I tell you what. What they saying about Brad Holmes is true. He's a terrible GM. If he decides to stick with Jared Goff, he's the worst GM. Man. He's worse than uh all of them. What's the what's the what's my man? I can't think of my man. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. Not Quinn. Not, 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 not. Uh, no, what's uh Matt Millen? Matt Millen. Matt Millen. Matt Millen. Matt Millen. He, nah, he's not Matt Millen's level. If he decides to stick around with Jared Goff after but showing what he does. Even if, even when he even in games when he don't turn it over, he tried to turn it over. He tried his hardest to get a ball away. I can't believe y'all yeah, see yeah, this is why yeah. this is why I call him y'all's friend. Not, this is I'm, why right here. We're not I'm not defending Jared Goff at all. I'm not defending Jared Goff. I'm looking <laughs> at it from a fiscal type of deal where you look at the money that the Lions could save. The Lions, and I just think that the Lions aren't gonna get rid of him this year. I just I, I don't, after this year. I just he's gonna I, be I mean, at least one one more year. For, to something I for me, is he gonna stay here? I wouldn't draft a rookie quarterback and then put it all on him to go out there, rookie. Show us what you got. Like I just, I just don't believe in that throwing rookies out there and trial or you know trial by fire. You know, you know, all, you know the same. I just yeah. don't believe. I believe yeah. you let him build for a year. Aaron Rodgers did it. Patrick Mahomes did it. Tom Brady did it. He came in toward the second half of the, of the season. So yeah, you let him in there. Did it. A lot, of, a lot, of, a lot of guys did it. It, that don't necessarily mean it is the you know greatest paid man. It got through in uh, from the jump. Some other guy, you know, what's uh? He struggled. Um, he struggled. Yeah, he's, you know, yeah. He's, he's you know, the whole the team. For, he's had the, the yeah, record. He's had the record for interceptions in the season. Yeah, he, 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 he has. Can, can we say? Can we say? Can we say that the the whole team was bad? There, there has been a um uh, a formula lately where you try to ro- a win with a quarterback on a rookie contract. But here's the thing. I say I've, I've I've offered that option. This is a whole other option. I said sign a a veteran backup that has shown he can actually that he actually can play. Yeah. And with that with that quarterback, we might actually be forced to play like some of us think that we should play to run that mug and not be you know we're doing not, some other stuff. We're not getting Huntley out of out of Baltimore. He, he a free agent. He a free agent in this year. They, they, they all he had to do is this. They signed his ass before they signed Lamar Jackson. <laughs> you you, you signed him. We signed Lamar. Then whichever one you don't want, we take. They gonna sign both of them, but they gonna make sure they lock up Huntley before they lock up. Uh, all right. Because it's, it's easier to lock him up than it is to Lamar Jackson. That's what you think. Yeah, I, they, they ain't letting him go nowhere, man. Trust me. Hey. To get the rest of this conversation, tune into the full episode of Lunchtime Detroit Lions Talk, brought to you by Detroit Lions on the Prowl, your home for Detroit Lions news and rumors. You're already on the channel, so go ahead and click over to the full version and check out this and the rest of the show. We have some full segments that's not bite-sized, so come back for the full version of Detroit Lions on the Prowl's Lunchtime Detroit Lions Talk.